Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm just want to talk about what is a cloud syncing service. Um, and this is going to be a very, very high level um, thing. But the one, the one key point I want you to take out of this um, is that your hub that we talked about on the first day should not be exclusively in one of these cloud syncing services. Um, and what I mean by that is you don't want your hub that has particularly your precious photos in something that you have to be connected to the internet for. Um, so that's why in, on your computer or on an external hard drive and something that can be ideally something that can be automatically backed up to something else. But again, ideally it's something that is not totally living in the cloud. Um, so first of all, what are cloud, when I talk about a cloud syncing service, I am talking about, um, I would say the big three are iCloud, um, Dropbox, and OneDrive. And um, for those, OneDrive is um, the Microsoft, the Office 360. So what these, all of these services do is allow you to have your files, whether that's documents, photos, videos, in sync to multiple locations. So I would say almost anyone that at least has an iPhone knows what iCloud is. So iCloud is a syncing service and it is not a backup service. So what that means is you take a photo on your phone, it syncs to iCloud, but if you delete that photo from your phone, it would delete it from iCloud. It's two-way communication. Backup, we were talking about one-way communication. Syncing is two-way communication. So I, iCloud is great if you have a Mac, I'm not saying turn it off if you don't, but it's great. Um, because then it can sync to your Mac and the Mac can back up those photos. But still, if you delete that photo off your phone or off your Mac and that deletes it out of iCloud, it's gone unless you've backed it up somewhere else. So I am a big user of Dropbox and PCloud are my two main. And now I've used most of the big ones, um, which are Dropbox, OneDrive, iCloud, um, Google, Amazon, Box. Um, I would say the two, the, I, P Cloud is one most of you haven't heard about. I really like it, but um, again, a syncing service um, should not be a primary. That being said, I personally, all of my, own photos live on my computer and they sync to Dropbox. Um, because I access them so much, I know that they're secure. I can access them on this PC, all of them. But because I have them synced to Dropbox, I can also access them from my phone if I want to or other services. So just so you can kind of see um, how a syncing service like this works. Let me show you my screen. Okay, you can see my screen. And I'm going to go up into Dropbox, see how it just looks like it's in my files. Um, I'm going to go into my photos. Let's go into my May photos. So these are all my May photos. This is living in Dropbox, though, as you can see, it just looks like it's um, on my file structure in my computer. I can also click over here. Now you can see I went this is in um, dropbox.com. 
I can also go into my family photos, go into the year, go into the month. Oops, that's June, not May. <laughs> I was like, where'd all my folders go? <laughs> Excuse me. So you can see they're all here. If I pulled up my phone, I could see all of this in my phone. Um, this also syncs to now to my Mac, my iPad. Um, that being said, it's not. This is not a end user experience for viewing photos in my ideal world. Um, but you can access things from multiple port places. So that is kind of my overview of what syncing is. I um, hope that makes sense a little bit. I, my biggest thing I want to get across is that syncing is, has its place, um, but I don't want you to have your photo hub especially um, in Google Photos, like Google Photos for sharing, and it can be a backup to your hub. Um, once you get everything into the hub, maybe uh, also put a copy of them in Google Photos. That's fine. But how do you back up Google Photos? There's no way to back up Google Photos if everything lives in Google Photos. It's also very difficult to organize um, online. And anything you do in Google Photos in that sense doesn't save. So if you download everything, it'll download exactly what it came into it with. So if you took the photos on your phone, it's got the date you took it on. But if you're like, oh, that I, that's not the right date or that's not the right location, any of that information won't stick. Um, meaning it's only works in that environment. Amazon Photos is very similar. Um, pretty much almost all cloud services like that are. Um, so they're good for sharing, but not your hub. So um, I would love, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what has happened to me <laughs> right now. Um, I would love your questions on this um, because it's something I see that's very misunderstood by a lot of people. And um, I would love to help you understand exactly how to use these services correctly. Um, I will say when I do my course, um, we will try to go into um, this in much more detail on how to work with each of these. Thanks. Have a great one.